Oh, little Weeble, will you sleep with me this night? I gotta be honest with you, I've never been a big fan of gimbals just because it takes so much more effort than a tripod. You just bring a tripod, you go. With this, you got like all these different things. Unlock this. Oh, what's gonna happen now? Ooh. It's kind of more hassle than I'm willing to deal with, but this is my second attempt using a gimbal outside and I'm just blown away. Like I never get footage like this. My entire life is about simplicity. So is bringing a contraption like this worth it? I gotta say it is, sometimes. Not every time, not every vlog is gonna be like this. You're balancing on a unicycle. But man, if you want some epic B-roll and you will, you're not even gonna believe what I got today. I'm so proud. Everything was in focus too. Somehow, I lucked out. Today I will show you why this is probably the best gimbal on the market. I've only tested two, but that's to take my opinion to the bank. Cash the check, certified. All I want is the perfect camera. All I want is the perfect camera. So first I want to show you something. Are you seeing this? Weeble S, Fatech AK4500. These are both phenomenal gimbals, but I can't ever picture bringing this with me over this. Like imagine a Canon R with an adapter and that sulking, hunking, Tamron 15 to 30 stabilized lens. That thing weighs like less than 2,000 grams. So if I was heading out to get some footage, 100% of the time I'd be taking this, the weeble that could. It's a little weeble. It's a gerbil-like being of the night, and they take you where you want to go. Let's go. Let's go see what they lead us to. <laughs> you you wanted to be in the shot? Those cars? Himself. Oh. They thought I was making a movie. Because I'm so professional with the weeble S. So here we are. We're just vlogging with the Weeble S, GH5S, 12mm f1.4, fully blown highlights. <laughs> if only I could control focus with the gimbal itself. Oh, we are gods of the night. So we got a Gordon Lang vlog test now. Oh, where you going, Lang? Just keep it in here close. Nice and safe. Any raccoons follow me? Oh, there's a car. Don't worry. He sees that you got your camera safe. He's not going to hit you. So first impressions of this thing. It's so much lighter than that Feutech. I ain't going to lie to you. The Feutech was like glorified rubber and metal everywhere. That's why it weighed 700 pounds. This one's much lighter, doable. I appreciate that. I don't mind a little plastic in my life. Make a whole camera out of like jello. One thing I'm loving, you can plug a cord into your camera if it's a specific camera. I just happen to own it, the GH5S. And then you can control it. I can change the aperture. No, I can't. I'm changing the ISO. There we go. What I can do is switch. Now I can't see the flippy screen. You could even hold it way out here. It's doable, somewhat. We'll see how long this lasts. The only thing I'm noticing, if I was to do this, that's kind of in the shot, although so artistic. If we roll, oh, hold it cool. Hold your steady now. So artistic right now. I haven't even been paying attention. I can see it though. You can see it there. You have to be down. So if you're vlogging with this gimbal, that's something you got to pay attention to. Do you even realize how hard I'm about to B-roll you right now? You do not want to know it.
first thing I love about this is it has a quick release plate. You just snap it on there, let go of that. It should be in, we're good. Tighten that screw. If you remove this tripod piece, that's pretty low blueprint footprint. I got my prints wrong. That's not much space. You can fit that in any camera bag, even a KNF concept bag. I wish I reviewed one recently. I wish there was a link somewhere. So technically you balance this thing at home. It's very easy to do, especially when you lock off each access. It's very easy to balance one at a time. Oh yeah, it's balanced with the lens cap off. And then you press on and hopefully you can do it, boy. Oh, we are good to go. We are good to go. We are balancing our lives. Frickin'. <laughs> so some handy features I'm noticing, if I want to adjust it and I want to tilt down like that for something on the ground, like epic sock and sandal footwear tests in the leaves of Canada, I can just double tap on that trigger and it comes on back. It's actually totally doable for vlogging. It's not even that heavy to hold it out there. It's like you could do it. You could get a couple scenes, then you switch arms. You're good to go. If you have the monkey strength program, of course. It wouldn't be at home without that. Thankfully, it has another way you can attach the tripod so you avoid that. It's not even in the shot now. Right? We're good? Is it hailing? There's a hailstorm. Is any of this weather sealed? Oh, somebody help me. How do you handle the running? You better handle it. Better than, oh my God, a dog. Oh, I should have epic B-rolled you. <laughs> Why did you? <laughs> I hate when I'm in the wrong mode and I want to tilt down, but it just locks on. You could easily adjust it. I don't even know what setting that would be. so hard and then go down for the low shot. Why am I so homoerotic when I handle gimbals? I need the counterbalance of the hand up here. Was any of that better than the Sony X3000? You know it wasn't. It ain't worth it. If you have a question in mind, should I buy a camera or a gimbal? The answer is always no. Get an X3000. You're good to go. Somebody help. I switched to the Fuji X-T3 and it started raining. Is this weather sealed? I got, I'm under a little tree offering zero protection. But is it glorious? Is it so glorious that you don't even understand what's happening? Don't rain on my friend. Now, if you're one of the lucky people who bought a smartphone before the year 1926, you can connect this thing to the app and it has this transmission thing where you can control the gimbal. So I could be having my phone and I, I do these little movements and it follows it perfectly. I can't test it because I have the Samsung S4 and the ZY Play app will not run on an older ass version. I tried, I tried my best, but the cinematic lowering through the branches. Oh, that's poking me in the eye. Oh, that's right in the eye. That is right in the eyeball. Oh God, I should have slow mo- Oh, that's up the nose. Is it good content though? If it's good content- <laughs> If only he would show us another squirrel-based B-roll sequence, then maybe I could manage to get through the day to some music that's available for purchase down below. He makes his own music for every single video. How does he do that? Really? <laughs>
good. I really like it. The battery life seems to go forever. It's not even... Like, I did all that footage yesterday. It still looks like a full bar. Like, nothing, nothing even happened. Look at that. Full bar. Full bars. Like, that whole epic B-roll scene. And it survived a hailstorm. I don't remember if they gave me a 10% off code for you guys, but check down below if there is. There might not be. If not, just affiliate links everywhere. And they did send it to me for free to review, full disclosure. And I'm not trying to, like, big it up. I'm allowed to say what I want. They didn't say, oh, please give us a positive review. One company reached out to me like that, trying to sell a mic. It was a Rode Micro ripoff. And they're like, we'll send you this if you give us a good review. Like, give your dog a review. So gimbals aren't so bad. As long as you're keeping the same camera on it, you're never changing a lens. You're never zooming on the lens because I'm pretty sure a zoom lens would then off kilt the tilt axis, the dip axis. I don't know which ones are which, but it's not too cumbersome to bring with you. It's not like this absolutely ridiculous thing. I wouldn't vlog with it daily, but man, did it ever look good? It did. And it's smooth. Stabilization is one of the most important aspects of video. And really only the Micro Four Thirds cameras can do it. It's only Panasonic and Olympus that are even worth holding. The Fuji, I love you, but you shake. You make my audience throw up. I want them to gain strength by keeping their dinner in their bellies so they can use the nutrients inside. So let me know what you thought of the footage. I had fun doing it. It is fun. I can picture doing this on my other channel, just getting some B-roll and then doing the voiceover. I think I will do that. I think I will. So we're done. Thank you so much for watching the video today. Subscribe for more videos and I'll see you in the next one.